Hey everyone, this is just a brief follow-up to the episode I recently released about a Hamline. My instinct or intuition is to say Hamlin University, but I double-checked the pronunciation before recording the last episode, and it seemed like everyone was saying Hamline. So Hamline University, but um, an art history professor who was fired from said university for showing images of the Prophet Muhammad in class. I still stand by my coverage of the story and the opinions I expressed in the last episode, but there is a mistake I need to address. In the Only Sky article I was reading from, they refer to the then unnamed professor as being male using the pronoun he, etc. Well, more information has been released, and uh, it turns out the professor is female. And when I found out, I felt bad, and I was like, oh, no, did I just, you know, close-mindedly assume that she was a man? But I went back to uh, Hemet Maida's, yeah, let's throw him under the bus instead, <laughs> but back to his Only Sky article, and he clearly says he. Even though uh, her name is now widely available, I may err on the side of caution anyway, and refrain from personally repeating her name. I signed a petition earlier that's seeking to have her reinstated, but I failed to notice whether or not her name was on there. Uh, and not to sound hyperbolic or overly dramatic, but people have been people have been killed for perceived slights against the Prophet Muhammad. So once again, I'm going to personally play it safe and not name her. And I think some of the new information that's come forth actually further vindicates the teacher or professor. Not only did she give her students a warning at the beginning of class that the images were going to be shown and offer them the opportunity to opt out without penalty, but it turns out she even took the extra step of trying to prepare students for the fact she'd be showing the images by mentioning it in the class syllabus as well. And once again, in case you missed the episode in question, she wasn't showing inflammatory, intentionally disrespectful political cartoons or anything like that. She's an art history professor, and she was showing centuries-old paintings of the Prophet Muhammad created by devout Muslim artists during a time when such depictions were not taboo. All right, I just want to issue that correction. Thanks for listening, and until next time.